Where's the camera? Here it is. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first Sunday in Advent. Happy Advent Sunday to you. Now, in English, it's just called Advent Sunday, but of course, in German, being much more technical, we call it the first Sunday in Advent. So, schön oder frohen ersten Advent allerseits. Um, tonight, I'm going to do a bit more of sort of English and German chit chat. I hope you don't mind, and um, not ignoring our German speaking audience. Ich werde heute etwas mehr Deutsch reden als sonst. Normalerweise Freitagsabends ist eher so hier, jolly jolly. Und ähm, da rede ich meistens nur Englisch, aber heute Abend werde ich ein bisschen mehr Deutsch reden. Wir haben natürlich ein internationales Publikum dabei. Schön, dass ihr alle da seid. Guten Abend allerseits. Und ähm, ja, good evening everybody. Nice that you're all there. Now, this is, um, this is the look for Advent. This is the Sunday evening look. Now, it's all very sort of... It's all very dark and very sort of subdued, that's the plan. And I can hear myself on my old iPad here, so I definitely don't want that. Let me turn that down. There we are. I've got this here so I can watch you on the chat. Now then, that first little number tonight was, of course, um, Macht hoch die Tür, die Tor macht weit. Or I think as Graham, Graham spotted its English name, something about, something lift up your, what is it, Graham? You said it already. Can you repeat it for me, please? I can't find it. It was ages ago. Graham, you said what this one was called. Rather wonderful. So, Graham, if you wouldn't mind um, saying that again. That would be good fun. Um, yes, now what we're going to do on the four Sundays in Advent, we're going to do a little sort of an extra live stream. Maybe not as long as a Friday night. And it's going to be a slightly more subdued character. Now, I say subdued, obviously, I was just playing full organ there at the end. Um, I don't necessarily mean subdued from the um, sounds you hear, but subdued from the content we'll be playing. Keep it, keep it sort of a little more, sort of, a little down a little bit. Now, uh, how many? Oh, we've got a, almost 200 people already in the live chat. Thank you very much. <coughs> Heads and gates, said Graham. Yes, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Now, because it's the first Sunday in Advent, we have a candle burning in the corner. And um, last night was our first uh, Advent service in the church in Herschbach, where I play. And as is tradition, in, certainly in the Catholic Church of Germany, where I play, there's a hymn that is played um, all the time during all four um, Advent services, all four Sunday services or weekend services. And um, each verse, or each week, sorry, we add a verse. And it's all about lighting the candles. So as you can see, the first candle is lit. So here's a piece of music called Wir sagen euch an dem lieben Advent. So welcome, welcome, dear Advent. Um, look, the first candle is already lit. Something like that. Wir sagen euch an dem lieben Advent. Ich habe gerade auf Englisch erzählt, um, Jetzt am Wochenende ist natürlich erstes Adventwochenende und äh, gestern Abend war in der Kirche in Herschbach unser erstes Advents, äh, unsere erste Adventsmesse und wie überall in Deutschland bzw. in der katholischen Kirche in Deutschland überall ist, es wird natürlich, wir sagen euch an den lieben Advent, nur die erste Strophe gesungen. Wir haben hier natürlich unsere erste Kerze brennen und dann spiele ich das jetzt einfach ganz leise Ganz im Hintergrund für euch, wir sagen euch an den lieben Advent. Wer den Text hat, darf natürlich selber mitsingen. If you know the words to this, it's number 223 in the hymn book. Sing along. I'm just going to play it very quietly, just the first verse. And it's all about the first candle.
It's as simple as that. Very simple tune, doesn't do much at all. Rather cute little number. Now, I'm going to be playing a mixture tonight of sacred and secular music. I think I wrote that in the video description for tonight. And what I'd like to do now is um, dig out a piece of music that I found on the internet today. And um, actually, this was um, spotted on Friday evening during our live stream, and somebody pointed it out to the audience. And I didn't pick up on it during the live stream. I only saw it later. And of course, then when I heard the news, um, on Friday, we lost, or the music world lost, the wonderful talent that was Stephen Sondheim. Um, and that's, of course, a great loss. Any, any wonderful old musician dying is a great loss to the music world. But someone like Stephen Sondheim is an incredible loss um, to the music world. Don't forget, he's, you know, he didn't just write his own musicals and his own things. He was a sort of writing partner for Leonard Bernstein. You mustn't forget that. He wrote, um, didn't they write West Side Story together? Leonard Bernstein and Stephen Sondheim. He wrote also, he wrote film music, he wrote musicals, he wrote also everything. He was a wonderful talent. And um, everybody has their own favorite piece of music by Stephen Sondheim. And I dug around on the internet to find the music that, of my favorite tune of his. And I'd like to play that for you now. Now, this is actually quite a cute little story. Um, I'll do the German version in a minute. It's quite a cute little story. Um, last night when I was, you know, getting ready for the late evening perambulation with the dog, going out for a walk with the dog. Um, I got a WhatsApp message from my friend Wayne Marshall. And uh, uh, Wayne, are you with us tonight? Is Wayne here tonight? He's here. Not, we haven't seen him yet, so I don't know if Wayne's here. Now, Wayne, as you know, is an international musician of great merit. He's just a god in the world of music. And Wayne posted or did a live stream himself last night on his Facebook site, on his Facebook page, and he... Um, he posted a little tribute to Stephen Sondheim as well uh, of him playing um, Send in the Clowns, which was his favourite piece by Sondheim, which I thought was rather wonderful. And he played the piece and then he improvised on it for a few minutes and it was, it was absolutely delicious. It really was wonderful. And that sort, of, that sort of spurred me on to do my own kind of thing here. I'm going to do it at the organ, of course, not at the piano. Um, and the piece I've chosen, piece I've chosen is a, it's from, well, it's, it's the title tune of a film, a film or, well, that was a musical and a film. It was called Anyone Can Whistle. And now, people don't remember this now, Anyone Can Whistle. But it was a wonderful p piece of work anyway. And I think it was Lee Remick that sung the um, title tune. Correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone out there knows, I think it was Lee Remick who sung it, and everyone was surprised that Lee Remick could sing. Um, and it was a wonderful song, and she sang it very beautifully, and um, the words are great, and I think it sort of fits into the sort of the general theme of life at the moment. Um, it's sort of a bit sort of... I'll read it to you. Anyone can whistle, that's what they say. Easy. Anyone can whistle any old day. Easy. It's all so simple, relax, let go, let fly. So someone, tell me why, can I? I can dance a tango, I can read Greek, easy. I can slay a dragon, any old week, easy. What's hard is simple, what's natural comes hard. Maybe you could show me how to let go Lower my guard. Learn to be free. Maybe if you whistle, whistle for me. I love that. It's so simple. It's so simple and it's, it's just lovely. Absolutely lovely. Right. I'm going to quickly introduce this in German and then I'm going to play it for you. So, uh, jetzt ganz schnell auf Deutsch für die, die noch nicht eingeschlafen sind. Um, am Freitag, während unser Live-Konzert, ähm, hat jemand in, in den Chat geschrieben, ich habe es leider nicht gesehen, ich habe es erst nachträglich gesehen und natürlich in den Nachrichten dann gehört, ähm, die Musikwelt hat Stephen Sondheim verloren. Stephen Sondheim war ein international bekannter, weltbekannter äh, Komponist und Textdichter, er arbeitete mit allen möglichen Musiklegenden zusammen, unter anderem natürlich Leonard Bernstein, die haben äh, West Side Story zusammen geschrieben. Leonard Bernstein hat die äh, Musik geschrieben und Stephen hat dann die äh, Texte geschrieben. Und ähm, das war natürlich einer der besten Werke aller Zeit, aller Zeit, aller Zeit, sorry, so wollte ich sagen, aller Zeit. Und ähm, 
Jeder hat natürlich seine, Lieblings, seine Lieblingsstücke, muss man plural sagen, von Stephen Sondheim. Und gestern, gestern habe ich ein WhatsApp-Nachricht von meinem guten Freund und internationaler Organist Wayne Marshall bekommen. Und Wayne hat gestern eine kleine, was heißt Music Tribute? So ein Gedanken oder was heißt das? In, was heißt das? So ein Andenken oder so, oder? Andacht oder so, ja, ihr wisst, was ich meine, ne? und Wayne hat so sein Lieblingsstück von Stephen Sondheim gewählt, das war Send in the Clowns, und Wayne hat dann an seinem Flügel zu Hause eine wunderschöne, eine wunderschöne Version von dem Lied gespielt und dann eine schöne Improvisation darüber, und ähm, er hat mir das dann geschickt, ähm, damit ich das auch sehen konnte, und das hat mir auch natürlich die Idee gegeben, ich könnte auch was Ähnliches machen. Und dann habe ich heute, heute Nachmittag, habe ich die Noten rausgesucht von meinem lieblings Stephen sondheim stück Ich werde es jetzt nicht übersetzen für euch, aber es heißt Anyone Can Whistle. Oder auf Deutsch tatsächlich übersetzt, nur den Titel, äh, jeder kann pfeifen. <lacht> jeder kann pfeifen. Und ähm, es ist eigentlich ein relativ tragisches Lied, aber es ist ein wunderschönes Lied. Und Sondheim hat eine wunderbare Gabe, ähm, Noten zu schreiben oder Töne zu schreiben, die nicht unbedingt zu den Harmonien gepasst haben, die er da hatte. Da hatte er immer so viel, viel, ja, ich weiß nicht, viel Drama damit aufbauen können. Das war echt cool. Also, ich spiele jetzt eine kleine Improvisation über Anyone Can Whistle von Stephen Sondheim. Oh, I forgot to mention, by the way, in uh, English there was, you know, his, uh, Stephen Sondheim's composing style was rather amazing. He would, you know, he would have sort of simple harmonies, but a complicated melody on top, yeah? So lots of notes that wouldn't necessarily fit to the harmonies that would then sort of resolve into the harmony. I think it's very, very cleverly done. Um, you'll hear that when I play it here, because the melody is, is on its own very simple, but the harmonies he's got underneath it make it sound much, much, much more exciting. So here we are. Anyone can whistle by Stephen Sondheim.
Isn't that a lovely little piece of music? It's so simple, but yet so effective. Isn't it lovely? That then was Stephen Sondheim's Anyone Can Whistle. Anyone Can Whistle. Very nice indeed. Right. Back to the book of goodness. Back to the book of goodies. Now, a long time ago, I played a piece of music that was actually from the Advent section from this book. And that long time ago was Friday. And let me just get back to where I want to be here. I think I want to be... Ooh, where the hell do I want to be? I want to be there. Um, actually, I don't. I want to be... There's what I want to be. Sorry, got to get the organ set up. Um, Maria durch ein Dornwald ging. Maria wandered through a wood full of thorns. But anyway, whatever you want to call it in English, it's probably got its wonderful English name. I'm sure someone will mention that in the chat below. Um, but in Germany, of course, it's very famous. Maria durch ein Dornwald ging. Three verses that tell a story of Maria having a little wonder and... Um, she had her baby Jesus with her. That's the idea. Or did she? Or was she about to? That's the whole point of the Advent. Um, the whole point of the Advent um, story. So, yes. Maria durch ein Dornwald ging. Okay, die deutsche Variante. Ihr habt schon gehört, dass es ist. Maria durch ein Dornwald ging. Alle drei Strophen, falls ihr mit singen wollt, Nummer 224 im Heft. Und ähm, zwischen den Strophen werde ich ein bisschen improvisieren dazu. So I'm going to play the three verses that you will find in the hymn book. And uh, in between the verses, I will sort of improvise around a bit. Maria durch ein Dornwald ging.
Maria durch ein Dornwald ging. A very, very delicious little piece of music. And uh, always good fun to play around with. It's got that sort of modal quality to it. It's not quite in a minor key. It's in a sort of modal thing. And one day in the new year, I will, of course, be um, doing some... We spoke about this before in another live stream. And in the new year, I'm going to start regularly doing two live streams a week, one of which will be our Friday nights, as usual. And one will be sort of a more... What's the word we're looking for? A more sort of, shall we say, music theory, maybe even... The word educational is the wrong word, but that sort of idea, you know, where I sort of talk more and demonstrate more of what I'm doing there. And, for example, what I said there, it wasn't, it's not really in a minor key, it's, in a, it's a modal piece of music. So when you say major and minor, that's very sort of limiting, but um, that kind of stuff that we just played, that's very much sort of um, in between, as it were. So anyway, but we'll go over things like that. It's all about a bit of music theory, maybe helping people start improvise a little bit. I know our friend who's watching tonight, Mr. James Flores, over in Australia. James is always wanting to learn more about the art of improvisation, as it were. And um, everyone's got their own different style of improvising. Um, that's the point, of course. It would be useless if we all improvised the same way. It wouldn't be improvisation, would it? And um, I'm sort of an harmonic improviser. I think that's the easiest way to say it. And um, that's the idea. We'll get around with that. So I'm going to have a very quick drink here. And while I do that, I'm going to set up the organ to do something rather different. And I think we'll use this. Now, Season of Advent isn't all about sort of quiet, relaxing. What's the word we're looking for here? There's a wonderful word in German for this, besinnlich. And that's what people tend to um, associate with Advent. You know, sort of sitting back and getting ready for things and having, having a good think, that kind of thing. And um, Germans love having a good think about things. So anyway, so this is going to be, um, this is going to be a sort of slightly more upbeat thing here. And I think you might recognize it. It's uh, words and music. Oh, actually, I can't, I can't actually read who wrote it. It's so bloody tiny in this book. You can't read a thing. I know who wrote the music, though, but the text was written by... Either the text is incredibly tiny or I need new reading glasses. Um, Friedrich Heinrich... What? Ranke, I think it says there. Yeah. Frau. What, what steht da? Ranke or Rauke? Ranke, wahrscheinlich, oder? Friedrich? Text? Friedrich? Ranke. Ranke. Kennst du den? Ranke? No. Okay. <laughs> and um, and um, everyone will recognize this piece of music as Tochter Zion. In English, it is, of course, called Thine be the glow re. Da 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 dum dum dum. And uh, it's a wonderful piece of music. Um, a lot of people play it at Christmas, but it should actually be played during Advent, and that's the whole point. So I'm going to play it now in a very Handel style. It was written by Handel. Did I tell you that? George Friedrich Handel, friend of King George I, etc., etc. All the rest of that. Pan Lomito, put on the lights. No, we're not going to put on the lights. It's supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> Uh, Vanessa will not let me turn on the lights. It's going to be deliberately very... It is a bit dark, actually, when I look at it on the screen. Okay, Vanessa says it's, it looks nice. So we're not going to argue with Vanessa. So there we are. Okay, if you think it looks good, if you think it looks... Uh, gemütlich is a wonderful German word. It's sort of... It's a, it's a sort of mixture of cozy, comfy, and um, just sort of... Ah, you know, when you're sitting at home and everything sort of... Ah, that's nice, I like that. that that's gemütlich, Gemütlichkeit. Um, the piece of music called uh, The Bare Necessities of Life in English is Probier's Mal mit Gemütlichkeit. Try chilling. I think chilling, that's probably the best way to do it. So, if you think it's looking gemütlich here tonight, chilled, then give Vanessa a thumbs up in the background to let her know that uh, her lighting effects has gone down very well. In the meantime, I'm going to go bonkers on the organ in the style of George Frederick Handel. Thine be the glory, or Tochter Zion. Here for the Deutschen, 228, Tochter Zion, 1, 2, 3, einmal durch. Alles klar?
I think I just overloaded the audio there, huh? Ach wirklich, das war zufällig das Wunschlied von Stefan B. Stefan, das habe ich leider nicht gesehen. Das war aber. Ach wirklich. Stefan, Vanessa hat mir das gar nicht gesagt. Aber gut, dass wir es heute Abend gespielt haben. Das war dann extra für dich. Danke an meine liebe Frau für die Information. Schön, dass du warst. So, viele Daumen hoch. Also, also, es sieht offensichtlich schön aus. Die Idee ist wirklich, es soll nicht hier jetzt hier ein tolles, wunderbares, helles Konzert sein. Es soll wirklich was Ruhiges sein. Ich bleibe übrigens heute bei dieser einen Orgel. Ich switche zwischen meinen ganzen Sample-Sets und Orgeln nicht. Das auf gar keinen Fall. Ähm, wir bleiben einfach schön ruhig. Die Orgel, die ich heute Abend nutze, ist eine gesampelte Version von einer Orgel in Italien, in Alessandria. Wisst ihr, wo Alessandria ist? Wenn man in Urlaub fährt nach Italien, fährt man durch, durch die Schweiz und dann kommt man irgendwann mal kommt man nach Italien raus und dann fährt man Richtung Mittelmeer runter und dann fährt man direkt an Alessandria vorbei. Und Alessandria hat diese wunderschöne Kirche. Moment, ich kann euch ein Bild zeigen von der Orgel in der Kirche. Kannst du mal zeigen, bitte, Bildschirm? Ja. Dankeschön. Es ähm, ist eine wunderbare Orgel. Es sieht so winzig auch in der Kirche, aber <lacht> die Orgel ist natürlich riesig, weil die Kirche unfassbar groß ist. Das ist die Chiesa di San Giovanni Evangelista in Alessandria. Absolutely beautiful. Eine wunderschöne Kirche, eine wunderschöne Orgel, eine tolle Akustik und natürlich dann auch ein tolles Sample-Set von Piotr Grabowski. Und ähm, Piotr hat natürlich etwas dazu gebastelt. Die Orgel ist nicht wie im Original, das sind ein paar Register extra. Danke, du kannst mal weiter. Ähm, die Orgel ist äh, etwas erweitert worden für ähm, Hauptwerk, dieses System, was wir hier haben. Und ähm, dieses soll hier, dieses Ding... Im Pedal, diese 32 Fuß, ähm, 32 Fuß Zungenregister im Pedal gibt es nicht in der echten Orgel, aber hier schon. Und ich hoffe, dass die eines Tages Geld sammeln für eine richtige 32 Fuß Zunge, weil oh boy, wäre das toll. Aber Highlight an dieser Orgel ist dieses Register. Alle schreiben in den Chats da Tuba, ähm, eine Tuba. Mit dieser wunderbaren Akustik dazu. Es ist ein unfassbar lautes, äh, unfassbar lautes Register und es macht einfach Spaß. So, what, was, what earth was I talking about there? I was talking briefly about the Alessandria organ in the church. You saw the picture in the church in uh, Italy there in Alessandria. And I you know, spoke, spoke about a couple of things. This is stop on the pedals. The 32 foot reed. That doesn't exist on the real organ. Piotr Grabowski, who made the sample, said he added that just for Hauptberg. And good job too, because it's absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And then of course there's this thing, the tuba. Which is just designed to blow your brains out. But what it does, of course, what it does, it gives you the sort of sense, it gives you the sense of, um, no, not the sense, that's not the word I'm looking for. It gives you the sort of feeling that it's not necessarily an Italian organ. What does that mean? It sort of sounds quite like, dare I say it, as a Scotsman, an English organ. It sounds very much like an English organ. It could be an English cathedral organ. That's sort of the way it sounds. And it's great because you can do absolutely everything with it. Absolutely everything with it. Absolutely everything. What you can also do is improvise on it for hours on end, and it's rather wonderful for it. Now, I'm using a certain set of registrations tonight that I set up for a completely different piece, but they work very well for sort of uh, improvisation stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop around to there in the middle of my improvisation. And um, I'm going to play a piece of plain song for you, plain chant, I suppose you'd call it, or Gregorian chant, I think. And um, it belongs to the Advent season. You might recognize it, you might not, but it's rather beautiful. Ich spiele jetzt ein Stück Gregorianik, das findet man auch im Gottesloben Nummer 230 und ähm, ja, mit dieser Orgel kann man wunderschöne Sachen improvisieren, deswegen bleibe ich bei dieser Orgel heute Abend. Viel Spaß. Graham has just said, it's an eclectic organ. Yes, it's very much an eclectic organ. It's wonderful. Right then. Gott, heiliger Schöpfer aller Stern, erleucht uns, die wir sind so fern.
This organ is just so wonderfully easy to play. It really is wonderful. Um, that was a rather nice little piece of music. I don't mind saying so myself. <laughs> Sorry, blowing my own trumpet there. But it's, it's, there's something about playing this kind of you know, instrument and I'd love to go and visit in, it, in its actual habitat at some point in the church in Italy. Um, must be wonderful in the church itself. Obviously, sadly, not with that wonderful, um, with that absolutely wonderful. I'm looking for a piece of music here at the same time. Um, that one is not in this book, I don't think. Ooh. Nope. Because we did it last week. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so Colin. Colin. Hello, Colin. Colin's back again. Colin, um, wer nun den lieben Gott lässt warten? I played that last week. I played it, I think, I, or I played it two weeks ago. I played it a couple of times now. Um, but we'll get back to it at some point when the time comes. Sorry, I was looking for something else. What was I looking for? It's not in here is what I was looking for. So anyway, there we go. Um, but I'll come back to something else in a minute. Um, Yes, what was I, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? I can't remember. Oh yes, this magnificent instrument in its, in its original habitat, which would be great to go and play at some time. But, um, going back to our theme of improvisation for James again, um, there are sort of some points where you get sort of, I don't know, you get lost in what you're playing. And something, something down there in the base of my brain, I don't know, just sort of takes over and does the music all by itself and I have no idea what I'm doing and I can't repeat it because I'm a million miles away. When I'm playing all that, I'm thinking about a million other things at the same time. Uh, I'm not telling you what I was thinking about at the time. There, um, Very mundane stuff. Um, but you know, it's, um, you know what I mean, yeah? you sort of get lost in it, which is all the good fun. Now, there was a piece of music I was looking for and I have to play it tonight because it's the first Sunday in Advent and um, well, there's just no way you can't play it. So I think we have to, um, Get the organ up at a certain level here and yes play it for you we're getting towards the end of this evening's concert i'm not this isn't going to be sort of two hour stuff we've, you know we've just hit the hour mark so um let's see let's see what we will have um coming very soon um this one you will all recognize okay that's what ich gerade gesagt habe ich habe so um, gesagt wie toll die orgel ist in der kirche ist bestimmt noch besser um, in Italian, da, aber hier so rum zu improvisieren an dieser Orgel, wie es so ist, man verliert seinen Kopf manchmal und spielt einfach immer weiter auf, auf Autopilot, mehr oder weniger. Und um, uh, manchmal vergisst man, was man so uh, gemacht hat. Also, ich könnte es jetzt nicht wiederholen, was ich gerade gespielt habe, es geht nicht. Um, ich war Millionen Meilen weit weg in meinem Kopf gerade, als ich das gespielt habe. Ich habe auch gerade was gesucht. Um, Vielleicht ist es doch hier drin. Ich habe irgendwas gesucht, was man am ersten Advent spielen muss. Also ein absoluter Muss, internationaler Muss. Aber ich befürchte, es ist nicht hier drin. Ich dachte, es war drin. Aber mal gucken. Äh, äh. Ne, doch nicht. Oh Gott. No. Ähm, äh. Dulcian 32, den wir als Johannes kennen, ähm, hat gerade gefragt, ob ich eine Improvisation im Stil von Pierre Pansmal machen kann. Heute Abend nicht. Äh, nein, heute nicht, aber bestimmt bald wieder, wenn ich mal in die... Da, da muss man wirklich im Modus dafür sein. Und ähm, nee, heute nicht. Aber wir werden das bestimmt mal machen. Ähm, that was, someone was asking, a guy called Dulcian 32, who's in here, whose name is Johannes. Ähm, He was asking if I would do an improvisation in the style of Pierre Pansmal from Saint Denis in Paris. And uh, the answer is yes, but not tonight. <laughs> not tonight. That's definitely something for a Friday night concert. Anyway, this is a piece of music. This is a piece of music you will all recognize.
Someone is raising a finger at me in the background. Yes, Mrs. Garchow. Ding dong merrily on high. Ding dong merrily on high. Can you say that again, please? <laughs> no. Ding dong merrily on high. That's a Christmas tune. Let's do that at Christmas time. We're not doing that during Advent. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. How many people are watching? 233 and then are left out. Ladies and gentlemen, you know that we have a, a very international audience all the time in our live streams, which is wonderful, ranging from the Australian continent all the way to, we've actually had people from Hawaii here as well. So yeah, so pretty much all around the globe. But, cheers. Tonight, I need you all to do me a favor, all of you, and I want you all to stand up and I want you all to sing. And we're going to sing a piece of music for none other than my mother. It was my mum's birthday yesterday on the 27th of um, November. I won't tell you how old she is now, but um, it was my mum's birthday. Now, her name is Frances, and I think we can all stand up and sing happy birthday to Frances. Okay, and we'll do it once in English. I'm not going to sing, but you are. Um, we're going to do it once in English, and then we'll go up a semitone, and we'll do it again in German. Okay, so... It, zum Geburtstag viel Glück is the German version, okay? Zum Geburtstag viel Glück, zum Geburtstag, liebe Frances, zum Geburtstag viel Glück, that's the German version. And you all know the English version. So, ready? Happy birthday for my mum. Can I say how old? No, I won't. she was 70-something yesterday, so there we are. So, yeah, so happy birthday, mum. And everyone's going to sing along for you. Happy birthday, Mum! There we are. So there we have it. Happy birthday to the old dear. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope everybody sang loudly. I hope you did. Now, what? What's this thing you say? Ooh, is this live? Wirklich? Wirklich? Ooh. Ooh. Vanessa has just told me, oh, this is perfect timing. Something funny has just happened. I didn't know this. Um, my wife, my darling Vanessa, decided recently that it would be fun. She said it would be fun to... What soll ich denn sagen? Yeah, okay. Look at the tree behind me. Mach mal das andere Bild und dann drehe ich mich um. Genau, richtig. Right, I'm going to turn around and talk to you in this camera here now. Have you changed it? Ist es dran? Ja, ja. ja wunderbar. Okay, check out our wonderful Christmas tree. This is um, it's a real Christmas tree. We don't do fake Christmas trees. We bought it yesterday and we set up, well, I didn't, Vanessa did set it up today. And um, I think it looks rather beautiful. Now, you will see scattered around the tree various little boxes. And these are the boxes, these are our Advent calendar, Advent calendar boxes. And in each of these boxes, from the 1st of December, there's the 1st of December there, from the 1st of December, there will be your requests. Now, in order for you to get a request in, how's to it? Yeah. Very clear? Yeah. As pin? Yeah. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> God, she, oh, she's, she's on her form tonight. Um, <laughs> I'm a... I should be nice, apparently. Um, yes, um, if you want to get a request in for our Advent calendar, then there's a little link there pinned in the live chat. It's a, it's a PayPal thing. So you buy a request. That's the idea. It's all her idea, not mine. You buy a request. And, and she will then gather all the requests. She has access to this PayPal account. I don't. Uh, and she will sort of take all the requests that you write in. Now, very important, actually. Very, very important. Um, 
very, very important. When you put in your request on this PayPal link thing here, yeah, there's a little sort of little bit that looks like a little pencil mark that you can edit and it says music request on a German Musikwunsch. Click on that and write in your music request. Otherwise, I won't know what you've requested. So that's very important. And on the 30th of November, so that's Tuesday evening at midnight, we will close that, um, close that off completely and everything that was requested will be printed out or written out folded up and put into one of those boxes. And it's my job then every day in December to play that piece of music, whatever it is. Whether it's an incredibly difficult piece of music by Bach, whether it's an improvisation on, I don't know, Ding Dong Merrily on High, like someone just suggested there, or whatever, it can be anything at all. It doesn't even have to be Christmas. It can be whatever you want. And it will all go into these little boxes and I will open the box, make a video, mention, I'll either mention names or I'll mention maybe first name and syllable, that kind of thing. So in the event of, let me look at this thing here, in the event of Michael Thielen, for example, there's a name I just found in the chat. If, if I pick out something that was from Michael Thielen, then I will say Michael T. Michael T. Okay, that's the idea. So um, it's all about that, isn't it? So anyway, there you are. It's all about data protection. Um, so yeah, get your requests in by Tuesday evening late. And uh, that's it. I've got a lot of work cut out for me in December. So yes, I'll get on with it. Now, the first few days in December, I'm going to sort of do them back to back, the videos that is. And um, well, hopefully I'll do them back to back unless it's completely mad music that I have to go and practice. Um, but we shall see. And the good thing is Vanessa's doing this completely anonymously. I will have nothing to do with this whatsoever. She's doing it all for me and I've got to suffer, basically. So that's that. So yeah, get your request in and have fun with that. So let's start Deutsch machen. Okay, und jetzt das Gleiche nochmal auf Deutsch. Ähm, auf dem Baum oder im Baum platziert seht ihr viele schöne, ja, ja, ähm, wie nennt man sowas? Adventskalender. Adventskalender. Boxen. Oh, okay. Türchen. Türchen, okay. Die Adventskalender, Türchen, Boxen und so weiter. Da steht 1. Dezember, also 1. Dezember. Was könnte das denn beinhalten? Also die Idee ist, ihr habt das jetzt auf Englisch wahrscheinlich gehört, Oben in dem Chat steht da ein angepinntes Kommentar. Klickt drauf, ihr werdet weitergeleitet in eine PayPal-Seite, wo ihr einen Wunsch, einen Sonderwunsch kaufen könnt. Das ist die Idee. Und äh, wieso lachst du? Das war deine Idee. Das war alles Vanessas Idee, das war nicht meine Idee. Ihr könnt ein Los dafür kaufen. Willst du das machen? Komm mal rein und mach du das. Nein? Okay, ihr könnt ein Los dafür kaufen und ähm, einen Musikwunsch hinterlassen. Ganz wichtig, lasst bitte diesen Hinterwunsch dabei, äh, Musikwunsch dabei. Wenn ihr da klickt, ihr werdet weitergeleitet auf einer PayPal-Spendeseite und dann seht ihr so ein kleines so Bleistift. Also klickt bitte da drauf, ein Box geht auf und dann könnt ihr euren Musikwunsch da reinschreiben. Ohne diese Information. Danke für die 5 Euro, aber ich kann keinen Wunsch für euch dann spielen. Und Vanessa wird dann alle diese Wünsche Dienstagabend 23.59 Uhr und 59 Sekunden. Fumm, diese Aktion hört auf. Und ähm, die ganzen Wünsche werden dann ausge ausgedrückt oder aufgeschrieben. Sie schreibt sie dann selber auf. Ich habe nichts damit zu tun. Ich habe noch nicht mal Zugriff zu diesem Konto. <lacht> Alles von ihr. Und... Ähm, Sie schreibt dann alle Stücke auf und platziert die ähm, zufällig in den ganzen Boxen. Und ich muss natürlich am 1. Dezember Box aufmachen. Tada, jetzt haben wir ein Stück. Und ich muss es dann spielen und ein Video natürlich drehen. Am 2. das Gleiche und so weiter und so fort. Also ich werde versuchen natürlich so viele Videos auf einmal zu drehen, damit ich nicht hinterher bin. Und ihr könnt euch alles wünschen, egal was. Und ich werde es spielen, egal was. Das ist natürlich ähm, hoffentlich lustig, aber es ist bestimmt nicht lustig ab und zu mal. Ich weiß nicht, was die Leute sich gewünscht haben bis jetzt. Es kann alles sein. Es kann Stücke von Bach sein, es kann Ding Dong Merrily on High, es kann Improvisationen über, weiß nicht, irgendwelche Weihnachtslieder sein. Ich habe keine Ahnung, was ihr euch wünscht. Und das werde ich auch nicht wissen, bis ich die Boxen tatsächlich aufmache. Also wir machen das wirklich äh, live, meistens. Und ähm, ich sage meistens, weil unser Freitags-Live-Konzerte und mittlerweile Sonntags-Live-Konzerte in der Adventszeit, da werde ich das tatsächlich dann live machen, vor Ort. Ich mache die Box auf und egal was drin steht, ich muss es spielen. Auch wenn das heißt, ich muss irgendwas Bescheuertes vom Blatt spielen, dann muss ich zumindest probieren. Wir sind nur Menschen.
oder? Und wir tun unser Bestes in diesem Leben. Okay, ich muss jetzt weitermachen, sagt sie. Habt ihr das verstanden? Bis Dienstagabend habt ihr dann Zeit, ein Los zu kaufen für unsere Adventskalender-Aktion. Ich drehe mich jetzt wieder um. Kommt die Kamera zurück? Oder bleibst du da? Alles klar. Alles klar. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back onto this again. Now, a piece of music that the English-speaking community will hear now is associated with Christmas for you. But in Germany, it's an Advent hymn. And uh, you will all recognize it, and I think you should all start singing it. So, like I say, in English it's a Christmas hymn, but in German it's an Advent hymn. And um, I don't need to say too much about it, other than music by... Where are we starting? We're going to start there. Music by Mendelssohn. Music by Mendelssohn. Back in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, that was it for our first Advent Sunday concert. We'll be back on Friday evening with Friday night is organ music night. All the fun of the fair again, more Christmassy stuff, more exciting stuff. And of course, it will be a Friday in December, which means we will have a live box opening session. Oh God, is all I can say about that. So thank you very much indeed for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your support. Thank you for donating. Thank you for taking part. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for passing on the world. Thank you for giving us a thumbs up. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button. Just thank you for being there. You're all absolutely wonderful, absolutely wonderful people. We will see you on Friday evening again for our next live stream. Friday night is organ music night. Until then, I wish you a good start in the new week and see you at the end of that very same week.
See you then. Bye-bye.